All right, what comes to mind when I say apron? Maybe memories of your mom or grandmother baking in the kitchen, or is it images of June Cleaver strolling around with her pearl necklace? Well, whatever your memories may be, these aprons have a bold southwestern stitch, and our photojournalist Tori Garcia shows us what happens when sassy meets classic. The sounds of fabric meeting art. It all started by accident. I was making a birthday present for Molly, my oldest. Molly's the cupcake queen. She loves to bake. Susie being an art teacher for 30 years and an accomplished artist, what else would she make her cupcake queen? I wanted to make her an apron, so I went to the store to get the material to go with that. It was like, whoa! All this incredible material. So I ended up coming home with more than just one. And uh, so she ended up with three aprons. As you can see, these aren't your June Cleaver style aprons. They are created right in Susie's house with one Singer sewing machine. I like the fact that they're handmade, they're cut out individually. Everyone is different in some way. I find a theme such as the skulls for Dia de los Muertos. And I start with that, and somehow I just love polka dots. I love patterns and colors. It takes a lot of time. For one thing, I'm slow because I still do have um, issues with processing. It's kind of amazing that I made it through that crash. I was in a crash about six years ago. Uh, T-boned by semi-truck driven by a drunk driver and uh, went through a lot with that. In the crash I had a lot of uh, brain trauma. After years of rehabilitation, Susie finds comfort in her family, artwork and sewing. But there's one surprise. So I sit down at the sewing machine and I discovered that I couldn't even remember how to thread it. It was a challenge and it was very frustrating. I'd be crying, why can't I do this? I had to teach myself how to sew all over again. Susie has always been an active, determined, and self-described stubborn lady, and she wasn't about to give up her life or art. In this life, if you can't have fun, why bother? Yes, there is no doubt that Susie's aprons are fun. They can make you smile, immerse you in their beauty, or conjure up memories of days gone by. Susie proclaims, It's like, ta-da! Here I am. I can cook and I can throw a party and I have something you don't have. <laughs> They're very original. For Susie, the stitch of life is one thread at a time. And she still gets frustrated, but she knows when someone puts on that sassy apron, it will be a memorable moment. While they are cooking, uh, making special recipes, or just barbecuing for their friends, or making special dinner for their family. In the end, that's something special for them. And we all need to be really good to ourselves. Life is short. Well, you know you need one or even three aprons now, so you can contact Susie's Sassy Aprons by calling 480 518 5705.